fancy since men have all made their own laws which oppress the poor women whatever's the cause since by hardness of reason or hardness of fist all wrong must be right if they choose to persist i'd have you with caution and wedlock engage for if once you are caught you're a bird in a cage that may for dear liberty flutter the wing as you hop from the perch but his chance if you sing the man who in courtship this duty to please throws off his attention and hears not no sees whilst her who before was the fairest of flowers the cloud on his brow ever drenches with showers and the man whose rough manners were courteous before gives you every reason to look for no more for such churls I've seen through the whole of their lives give not but an oath or a frown to their wives let her speech or her manners be e'er so bewitching why women should only give mouth in the kitchen nor in there with a roast for my lord must be by and a finger must always have in every pie then he'd like has become to such silence as prone that you'd think him a statue just cut out of stone. And his fair when I'll wager, not all the year round, hears aught of his voice say a hum and a ha sound. Now, some to advise you all evils to shun, that you ever be happy while holding your tongue. But Jack Boaster has taught me that this will not do, for when he is railing, his dear shall rail too. And Andrew McCrumble insists that his wife shall ask pardon most humbly each hour of her life. And he's right, for since wedlock has made them both one, tis fit for such sin she should daily atone.